breaking news. Gaston County leaders this morning announcing they are defying state orders and they're opening businesses tonight. A huge announcement here. They say they don't want to be treated like every other county in the state when they feel they've been ahead of the curve from the start. Gaston County Bureau reporter Ken Lemon was at that announcement this morning and joins us live now. And Ken, leaders pointed out that they had to help business leaders from losing more money. Yeah, and this is that order that it was signed. The chairman of board commissioners says that he thinks the governor's order would be disastrous and businesses in Gaston County must be able to reopen now. He says even though the governor's order lapses in one week, he thinks that some people may not have a business to return to. I was there as he signed that order from the board of commissioners allowing most businesses to bypass the governor's order and remain open or reopen, that is, at 5 this evening. evening. That includes sit-down dining, movie theaters, sporting venues, places of worship can reopen with strict social distancing protocols. He said the key is that the county is not placing a strain on hospitals here and he says none of them in the state are at or near capacity. He says the impact of COVID-19 is not huge in Gaston County. He believes social distancing has worked and according to him, the county has a moral obligation to act now. We continue the stay at home order. It will not have a good effect for Gaston County and we will not maybe at all have anything to come back to. Now I ask Phil Beck in the case where a police officer sees a violation, which order should they follow the governor's order or the county's order? Well, uh, Commissioner Phil Beck, the chair of the Board of Commissioners Phil Beck, he says that they are fundamentally the same because any business deemed not essential now can actually go through an application process despite the restrictions and become recognized as essential. There's still a lot more questions to be asked and answers to get. We're still working on those. We'll have a little bit more for you later on tonight, starting at five. Damani. Ken Lemon reporting live for us tonight. Thank you so much for that. Meanwhile, Mecklenburg County officials will rescind the stay at home order tonight to bring it in line with the state's order. It's less restrictive and it will allow some local businesses to reopen as early as tomorrow. County leaders use this information to make their decisions. There are percentages of tests that have come back positive in Mecklenburg County. Take a close look at the orange line. The county calls this a stable trend over the last 14 days. So what does the change in Mecklenburg County's order really mean for police who are protecting the community? Our Mark Becker spoke to CMPD officials this morning and Mark, what was their reaction to all of this? Well, they said in a phrase, Damani, it's an ever-changing situation, which you guys have really touched on already. So they are pretty much going to have to go with the flow here. Now, as you have said, the county's uh, restrictions were more severe than the state restrictions, which are now in place, and police are saying they're going to adjust accordingly. They told us this morning they have had fielded about 2,500 complaints about possible violations since that county stay-at-home order went into place and issued only about 18 or 19 citations. They have made eight arrests and most of them came at a protest outside a women's clinic here several weeks ago. But this morning, Deputy Chief Jeff Esty said those arrests would probably not happen today under the state's guidelines. And here as we stand today, um, outdoor protests are permitted and, uh, and will be um, allowed to be permitted under the, uh, the auspices of the, the clarification letter. That, uh, of course, was not the case back um, when a few weeks ago when the arrests were made, uh, but we found ourselves in a, in a better position today. Chief Estes did add, though, that they're going to make sure that if there are protests, that the protesters maintain that social distancing and certainly Damani police are not going to go a lot going to tolerate or allow any violence at protests. Yeah, absolutely right there. Mark Becker reporting live for us tonight. Well, the changes aren't coming fast enough for some in our state. Police arrested four people at a reopen NC rally at the state capitol yesterday. Two of them, a woman from Catawba and another from Morganton, were both charged with violation of an executive order. Now, they were part of a group of about 300 people. The protesters are demanding Governor Cooper reopen the state for business, but state health officials say doing so too quickly could cost lives.
There were also counter protesters dressed in scrubs and wearing medical masks. It angers me that we have to be out here. It angers me that people aren't, you know, wanting to take care of the vulnerable in our population. Well, police say overall the protests remain peaceful. Well, a group called Reopen Mech is planning a protest here in Charlotte on Friday afternoon. They plan to be in the heart of Uptown, but organizers have this message for people who will want to take part. We have some breaking news to get to out of Southwest Charlotte. People are being told to stay indoors and to close their windows after a chemical spill. Charlotte Fire says the chemicals came out of a rail car on Fruhoff Drive. That's off Westinghouse Boulevard between South Tryon Street and Steel Creek Road. We don't know yet what chemicals spilled, but we do know that no one was hurt because of the windy conditions. Firefighters want people to stay indoors so they don't inhale any toxic fumes. And also breaking in Northwest Charlotte. Take a look here. One person has died in a crash on I-485 near Mount Holly Road. Take a look at this scene here. Chopper 9 Sky Zoom flew over the crash. And if you look closely here, you can see a tractor trailer and two other drivers collided in the outer loop there. Now, right now, we don't know yet which vehicle the victim was in. The left two lanes are closed right now as investigators try to figure out what caused this wreck. And the crash happened about two hours after this wreck, right in the same area where a truck flipped and spilled a load of pallets. Now take a look and you can see there's just a huge mess there. We're reaching out to find out if anyone was hurt in this, and we're also asking if this wreck and the cleanup contributed to the deadly crash. Well, a church near Hickory is being criticized for its message to Governor Cooper to reopen places of worship. The pastor of Liberty Baptist Church in Burke County says he is asking Governor Cooper to stop the persecution of churches and Christians. Some people who stopped by the church today found the message offensive and in opposition to social distancing guidelines. Pastor Gene Gout has preached that what's happened since the pandemic started is a mirage and isn't real. And I believe that our country is literally being destroyed. This virus has been weaponized to destroy this country. Well, the church says it is following social distancing guidelines and is praying for the governor and president to reopen states and churches. North Carolina is reporting 380 new cases statewide. This state is just shy of the 10,000 mark. More than 118,000 have been tested. 354 people have died. In South Carolina, more than 53,000 people have been tested, and of that, 5,700 tested positive. 192 people died. Well, we have grim news for the U.S. economy this afternoon. It shrank and is expected to fall further. The Commerce Department says the gross domestic product marked a quarterly drop of 4.8% from January through March. The GDP is the total output of goods and services. Now, that's the first drop in six years and the sharpest since the Great Recession. Now, you have to keep in mind, we didn't see a lot of the major pandemic impacts start until March. So experts think the April through June report is going to possibly be worse, as much as 40% drop here, which would be a record drop.